uh, welcome back. Um, so we're going to do now, we're going to do the uh, baking of the admin occlusion in, in Redema and I'll show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, go into um, just, uh, actually I'll take these three pieces of geometry and just going to duplicate them. Control D. So I'm just going to take these three and just guide them for this. Here we got the originals there. So we got these three here. So I'm going to select all these three um, and then I'm just going to assign a random material for now. So I'm going to go into here and I'm just going to go into this. By the way, this is the uh, hyper shade. You get it from here, this button there. So we got that and I'm just going to do is I'm going to do a uh, tap, we press tap, we type PXR constant. Okay. Um, and then we just got a constant material. Okay. So I'm just going to select all these uh, three pieces of geometry. Oh, uh, let's start with, yeah, one, one go. So that's fine. So I take that and then um, with that selector, I just go here and right click and say assign selection, oh, assign material to a viewport selection. So now I have that. Now, if I if I render that, I'm um, just gonna go into uh, render man, and I'm just gonna hit render. And now, what it gives us is just pretty much nothing because the constant is just like a surface shader in shader inside um, Maya. It's just had no lighting contribution or anything. It's just color. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna assign to it um, a little node that comes now with a new render man. We're gonna call that the. Uh, uh, it's gonna be called tap. To PXR and it's called dirt and that pretty much is just the ambient occlusion so if we select this click here we say result RGB into the emit color okay and then if you can you can click here on render man and then change this to shade the ball and then this is roughly what it looks like you see it's pretty much an ambient occlusion pass but you take here that you just invert the colors so the occluded is black and the unoccluded is white increase the sample to 8 probably and then probably the distance to very point one, and then you get sort of an ambient occlusion pass, um, maybe two point three, a little bit. So it's a bit. There. I think if you put it in zero, it sort of calculates it automatically. So let's leave it like that and see, see what happens. So um, I think inside and this stuff. No, this is uh, outside. This should be fine. So this is pretty much what we're gonna get. So if we now render it give us something like this, which is pretty much an ambient occlusion pass. You see? So it's an ambient occlusion pass based on the proximity of this. So now we need to bake this out. So how do we bake this out now in, in random mode? So in the new random mode, you can bake out things now. And all you have to do is um, just put a no in between the color and the actual shade and it bakes out for you. So we press tap and it's called PXR bake. That's good. Yeah, bake texture. Okay, so click here. And it's pretty much a matter of just selecting here, resolve RGB. If you don't see here because it's already been connected to something. So we press other, resolve RGB, put it here. And then we go here, resolve RGB, and then connect to that. So pretty much this guy is going to be a bypass. So what we do is this stuff here is normal. Um, and then we type here source images backslash, because if you want to go into the source images, and I think that's all lowercase source images backslash because we already got a project set up we call it this let's start with the left so we say left um i left i i'm in occlusion dot uh, dot t i f f okay and we're going to say bake is enable render automatic ticket map the ticket make thing and then we put here tiff and we put the size of the camp of the of the map that will be we're talking about 1496 4k maps 1496 okay so we got those two things there now if I hit render here nothing happened because all what you're gonna do is just gonna render that stuff in there okay so that's just that it so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide this guy I press H H and I'm just gonna bake this out here so again if I hit render here we'll only be rendering the viewport but now we need to bake it so but let's see where we we put that stuff so we put it in uh, I think I got it here quick so project and uh, let's see that's the one yeah that's the one so quick so project and then we go here into source images here source images and now if we go here and click this button called bake render we hit that button then you, we should start seeing pretty much that stuff kicks in nothing none of this stuff it's just here so this the scheduler the local queue start working out here where things go 
and you start rendering the stuff here. So it's pretty fast, and that should automatically be rendered into the uh, file. So it should go into here, source images here somewhere. That should be in a minute. So it's pretty much pretty much what it's gonna do. It's gonna do exactly what we did with the turtle render, but it's gonna put an image here, source images, and it's gonna just output um, uh, just a texture which is gonna bake the ambient occlusion into the uh, into the uh, into the UVs, and then you do that for every single one of them, just like we did with the other ones. The other one, obviously, we did it we used here that dynamically because it was using the turtle render, and then you just save the file as a target or as a TIFF file, and then all the data will be there. So I think I'm going to stop it now here and then uh, once it's finished and in the end of the other video I'm going to show you where the file goes and uh, and that's it and then we're going to do it after that it's just going to um, export the uh, the um, the uh, normal maps oh sorry the, we're going to export the low res and the high res version for uh, baking the normal maps in X normal and I'll show you how to bake our normals and I'm in occlusion maps in in uh, in X normal okay thank you very much bye bye